Mm, I have ten hours. Oh. God, there's that guy again with that stupid knife. Sam, Hannah's best friend. Diligent, considerate, and adventurous. Have to cable car station. The gates. Oh, what? The gates busted. Climb over. Yeah, because that's what I want to do. It has pokey things on it. How am I supposed to climb? Oh, I eh, like a dumbass. Safe or quick? Let's do safe and not kill her right away. So be me climbing over the thing. <laughs> Woo, that was a workout. Uh, oh, but you can jump down. Yeah, go figure. Don't move by Connor's screen. Huh? Keep the wireless control as still as ah, possible. Damn it. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Feed the fucking squirrel. Are you kidding me? It is dark outside. Oh, great. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people, but butterfly philosophies. Tribes who once lived in these realms believed that butterflies carry dreams and philosophy. The color of the butterfly indicates the nature of the prophecy. Black is death, red is danger, and loss is brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance, yellow butterflies offered versions, visions. Fortune, white butterflies sought to dream of luck and good. Well, we want a lot of white butterflies. Oh, not one of these damn things again. Reveal a colored butterfly, a potential of its possible future. Okay, I did not see a butterfly in there. Maybe it's white. The future is uncertain. Now, am I supposed to be going to, like, this house? Where am I supposed to be going? Chris? You here? The bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Nah. Hello. What do we have here? Snoop or closed bag? Okay, let's close the bag. Let's be honest. Butterfly effects appear when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. 
Chris has a crush on Ashley, protective, humorous, and methodical. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. Well, it wasn't a black or red butterfly, so right I'm okay with that. Blow your mind. And I'm not alone. Wait, wonder what was back here. Anything else? The Dora Explorer in me is going to get me killed in this game. <laughs> and I got a backpack. Ooh, see? The past is beyond our control. Yeah, that is creepy. Yeah, let's get away from there. Oh, he came to check on me. How nice of him. But I'm stopping again. Oh, man. Look at this. Wanted. Nice. Victor Milgram. Mel, 6'2". Blackwood Pines, Lastine. So. Well, that's where oh, we're at. On. Why are we there? <sighs> now I gotta collect clues. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright. Here goes. Yeah, let's not do that. Great, now it's another shooting game. Just one. Just what I wanted. Wow, nice shoot for tits. All right, I'm bad. I'm bad. He's compensating. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Oh, God, again? Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, no, not the squirrel. <gasps> no. <laughs> Shooting the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, White I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, White red, butterflies, Star. not red. Staying away from red and black, that means I cannot die. <sighs> See, not the squirrel. Keep on walking. Oh, great, now I'm him. Yeah, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. Oh, real gentleman. Nice. Well, snowboards. I was going to say skis, but... I really hate no, this view. I'm trying to get the appeal of getting the uh, at the shooting range. Still running into How shit. How long is this going to take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It just feels like medicine. Hotel and sanctuary. For a healthy body and mind. What a crazy place to set up house. No matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Yeah, hey, probably used to be nicer. Until people got killed. Yeah, because that's not a good security system. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some seeds, but... Oh, we're not going to ride that stupid thing, are we? 
<sighs> yeah, you got me fucked up. Just like going to the prom. Yeah, not. Prom, you're driving around in a freaking limo, not going up a go. ski hill. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. You know what? Let's just let's just stop talking. She don't want the D. Really she called you bro. Uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off a train bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly. How do you know he's watching? Is he, I thought, Jesse, confident, Mike's new girlfriend, trusting and air, air event? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Air event? I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> Let alone say it. Yeah, what is she doing? Is she, oh, all these fucking people in different fucking areas. No wonder why they die. Well, so far there's five people. I've only killed two. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you no, I thought she hit her head. Pretty please? Actually. Wait, what am I supposed to... I don't want to. I guess I have to, though. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? Mm -hmm. I wonder. Let's just give, give that... that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's... Yeah, nosy. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Mike's ex. Resourceful, persuasive, and intelligent. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Motivated. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Ambitious and active. Oh, there's Matt. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Right? Why are you with another girl? And why are you carrying both your bag and her bag? 
Make a bitch carry her own bag. What are you saying? Shut up! Bitch! Oh my god! Hate you! Okay, there's Mike, Emily's ex. Intelligent, driven, persuasive, and now I have a fucking heart attack! Woo! Oh! Nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Yeah, you're Guys, a fucking jerk. All friends here, right? No need for violence. Well, just a little harmless fun. fun. Just try to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. The best screams ever. Okay. We're all friends here. Let's just go that way. Michael. I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. Uh, I thought you just want to give me a fucking heart attack. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> uh, yeah, seriously, I'm gonna go uh, and the there's a monster. Sure. See you, man. See ya. <laughs> See ya. See ya. Dick. I'll say it for oh, you. It's okay. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. Just all the bags. Uh, no, why? carry your own. I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. <laughs> it's important, Matt, please. Em, I really don't think you should head back down the trail by yourself. Seriously? It's cold out and it's getting dark. You're gonna protect me from it being dark out? I'll just leave your stuff here and- Duh! You don't be outside in the dark by Matt, yourself. are you kidding me? You can't leave me alone for five minutes? You really no. think that little of me? That's not what I meant. Why can't you just listen to me? Why do you have to question everything I say? I'm sorry, Em. I'm just trying to be helpful. If you want to be helpful, then you can help get everything up to the lodge as quickly as you can, okay? What a bitch. Okay. Fine. Whatever you want. Thank you. I'll see you Push over. after I go find Sam. See you in a bit. Push her over. <laughs> Pushover! He's a pushover! He took her bag! She, he should have told her no! Right? Well, she's gonna be the next one to go, probably. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. What is this, a fucking love triangle? friendly or not in the friend zone kind of way they might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup oh! 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 hey whoa it's hard here scary you what I did mean to scare you sort of scare you're so funny you. like for real scare you oh my you. gosh oh my god hey wow Oh, oh my sorry. god. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it, Let me check it out. No. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Yep. Uh, Might as well. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I ah, damn it. Matt. Not... White butterflies again instead of red. 